It's the same old story about the crucified boy in Slovyansk. They took a boy, he was three years old, he was like Jesus. They put him on the board, one of them nailed him and others were holding him. And the stories of denial of any involvement in the conflict in Donbass. There are no Russian troops in Ukraine. The Kremlin media are full of such fakes. They have been broadcast for seven years in the territories of Donbass and controlled by Kyiv and in the occupied Crimea. These are methods of so-called information war, the President's office say. At present, the main challenge is to find the safety mean between freedom of speech, protection of freedom of speech and at the same time protection of information security given we lived during the war. Ukraine should oppose Russian propaganda in the territories and controlled by Kyiv using high-quality content. That is objective information about the real state of events in Ukraine and the world. The first step was done a year ago. A year ago broadcasting began on the temporarily occupied territories. Broadcasting of the state-owned Dom TV channel replaced the commercial channels. UATV continues working as well. I have plans about broadcasting to the Crimea, Donetsk and Luhansk regions. Will we actually put transmitters, satellites and so on? And according to the president, this task is realistic. Technically, we can put special towers along the contact line, the temporary demarcation line. We can do this to broadcast our TV channels. The DOM channel is just the beginning. I believe that there should be two or three channels of a kind. It seems to me that this is a big task. According to the president, Ukraine is now at the forefront of fight against fakes spread by the Kremlin media. Ukraine plans to launch a center for countering disinformation in the nearest future. Reported by Roman Smoller, UATV News.